once was a jolly swag Camped by a billabong Under the shade of a coolabar tree And he sang as he watched And waited till his billy boy You'll come a waltzing Matilda me Hello Rene, just give you a little look at Bourne uh, Street here We've got uh, about another uh, three metres to come up yet uh, By 4am tomorrow morning It's 2 o'clock now on uh, Wednesday the 12th of January 2011 Give you a look at the TVs over here as well Have a look See how fast the uh, the water's running there, and you can see Eagle Street over there. I'll come. I'll get to another angle. Get a better shot of Eagle Street. That's completely under. Your unit was up there. Do you remember your little old unit? Actually, I might go up there and film a bit. Your old unit in front of there. See what it looks like. Well, I'm competing with Cha Ooh, you're competing with Channel 10 here, mate. <laughs> so there's a little bit of the old. Uh, so we've got a man of their. Uh, uh, 5.5 meters has gone up to, so it's probably up another two and a half, three meters. There's Eagle Street over there, that's way under, you see? Way, way under there. There's the old Channel 10. Let's see if I can get a uh, TyDollar.com advert in here, mate. Hang on. So, <laughs> Thornton Street, there you go. I'll take a stroll up to your old unit, Rene. Um, see how it's going up there, look. Right, well, I have to get off the old path here, mate. As you can see, it's getting a little bit wet heading towards your old place there. There's another little shot of Eagle Street there. Look, it shows you the, um, the speed of the water. Look, you see how fast that water is running through there? Pretty heavy. And it's coming up another two and a half to three meters. There's your familiar sight of the city. And heading down is your place up on the right there. Right up by your unit, mate. And remember, we've got another two and a half, three metres to come yet. Somebody went on the piss last night and uh, has forgotten to come down and move their car, mate. Yeah, not the tinny. Look at the car behind it. <laughs> Apparently, they reckon the uh, water's going to come up and flood the bottom units of your old place up there, remember? Yeah, it's going to have a little closer look at that car. Okie dokie, this is outside your old place, mate, if you remember. And uh, this guy's got a nice go-faster uh, fin on the back of that, mate. You see that? I'll tell you what, mate. I'll tell you what, he ain't going to be going too fast now. He's probably in bed sleeping off the... and the piss last night, where he would have been up there at the old Story Bridge. There's the old Story Bridge running outside the old unit. Story Bridge itself, and we just head down to the sea, the seafront, the riverfront there, see how we're doing. There's your old units up there, mate. And I'll just head down to the uh, river uh, and check what's happening down at the old other end. The old beach, it's down here. There's your car with a go faster fin there running right in front of your old units up there. As you can see, the old water's coming in pretty quick. Uh, I should be right above my head here by 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 or 4.30 in the morning is when it's all due to peak, so they reckon. See how fast it's going there. Sound check under the Story Bridge, I think. Well, I've heard rumours that the uh, Brisbane uh, Jazz Club have uh, cancelled their evening uh, jam session tonight. Uh, as you can see, there's a little tent there up to the roof and it's still going past pretty fast. The old water is, uh, well, you can see the speed it's coming in, look at that. That's how fast, whoops, it's coming up the hope you feet me because as we speak, get out of it, gee, you dickhead. Right, look at that. Hang on, look at that raging down there, I'll go and check that out in the distance there. Just going to walk down the river now and round underneath the Story Bridge. This is all going to be two metres, two or three metres under here. You can see all the businesses are closed here. 
We're all sandbagged up, ready to go, all here around the front. Let's go and check it out down on the, the front there. That looks like old Doctor Who's in town there. Parked his 11 box here ready for takeoff. And you can see the speed that the water's coming in. That's how quick it's coming up and building up. So the levels are going to go up pretty, uh, pretty quickly, pretty fast. They said 4 a.m. or so, but the way this is going, I mean, it was only 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, oh, crikey, there's another 12 hours to go. There's your story bridge. Let's go and uh, let's go and have a look under the bridge. So everybody's got barbecues and beers, the old Aussie way. Wouldn't be surprised if a firework display, mate. Now you can see the uh, police safety no cross do not cross this barrier because of the raging torrential flooding water coming down here death defying washing people away well of course they're all behind it the wrong <laughs> the wrong side of it <laughs> there's a police boat down there let's go and check him out well there's the Holman Street ferry uh, pontoon which as you can see is just about to get washed away now they reckon that the water is going to come up to the level of that above that there's a city in the background behind it and uh, so look what we've got here we've got channel 10 again I wonder if they've ever seen I'll get in the shot I'll ask him now tidollar.com in it excuse me mate you heard of uh, tidollars.com uh, there's a police boat out there story bridge sorry mate you haven't heard of TyDollars.com, have you? TyDollars.com? No, a bit of an advert, it's okay, mate. Just had a chat with the film guys, Rene. TyDollars.com, believe it or not, Al Jazeera. I've just been watching for a month. They just come back from Thailand. A couple of nice lads, actually. A couple of guys. I might get them to say hello to you. Hang on, I'm going to say, say hello to Rene. Hang on. Yeah, I'll get you the perspective of the Al Jazeera reporters. He's getting the old Holman thing in the background, I don't see. to get that in the background. There's a little shot of uh, under the story bridge and where I'm standing now uh, well I'll be head, my head will be under the water. You can see it's coming up to the mangroves there and it's going to come up another two or three meters so it'll be above my head. There's the city. the story now there's uh, heaps of barges boats containers whatever that is all breaking loose floating at their own will down the river all day um, I've seen heaps of tinnies and boats and whatever God knows that is like a dinghy on a on a on a barge or something I don't know. as I said I'll be about two meters underwater here at least and uh, all these units they'll all be up to the ceilings as you can see, they're all starting to stick their plastic on the windows. I don't think that's going to do much good, to be honest. He's is doing it now as we speak. Right there. And uh, these will all be, well, up to top those rails, probably. Uh, sandbagging or whatever. Uh -huh. Looks like somebody here went on the piss and never left their car with a high speed fin parked. But they left their little boat parked there instead. They forgot to uh, get out of town. You can see the marina down there. Normally there's hundreds of boats in. There's normally literally hundreds, a couple hundred boats, yachts, and they've all left town. Except this guy. Oh really? And there's the old I know one of the inflatable going on its own down there. Now what have we got here? Now flotsam, jetsam, heaps of stuff floating around. I don't know what that is. Looks like a boat or a little bit of wood. Crikey, look at that. <laughs> there's another boat, and that one. The jetty's gone with his boat as well. As you've got to remember, there's nobody on these things. These are just flowing loose, floating off on their own. Here we go. The wonderful 
sunny day in old Brisbane. Because what you've got to remember is the water coming down is from the dam. Millions and billions of megalitres. Not the rain. And there you go. So, yeah, as you can see down there where the marina is, where there used to be hundreds of boats, that's where I live. Down there with the new building. Yes, tied up the boat, but forgot to tie up his pontoon. So his boat's nice and safe, but his pontoon ain't. Never mind, mate. And of course, he won't be insured. So uh, that's what we call a personal problem. Another little nice perspective shot of the Story Bridge as I head back. Check out and check out the water that has just started to creep into uh, Goodwin Street where I live. The floods are coming, Brisbane, January the 12th, 2011. So, this is Aussies, mate. What do we do? Yep, Story Bridge, get on the piss. Any excuse for a beer, mate? Get to the old outback bar and grill and have yourself a grogo, mate. There's the old story bridge underneath there, is it? There you go. Have a beer, mate. She'll be right, no worries, mate. Never mind the flood. Get the beers in. And the story bridge. There's my unit and, uh, the water's just starting to come in now, as you can see. Pay here, yeah, that guy's gonna be paying here. He's one of those guys on the piss again, can't get up in the morning. So this is this is gonna be above my head. By four in the morning, this will be another two to three meters high. I'm gonna move my car from the underground car park. So I will now go back and send this to you, Remy Martel Man, sponsored by TyDollars.com. So it's good. Okay, it's three o'clock in the morning, and I'm going down to see the King Tide, which is coming up at uh, four o'clock, um, and again tomorrow. Um, this is what it's all about. So we're getting about two meters of uh, of water. Power's been off now um, for the last. 12 hours all over Brisbane, so anyway, I'm gonna head down now and see what we can see. It's 25 to 4 a.m. and I'm here at Thornton Street Ferry. Now, it has come up a couple of feet since I was last here. Um, in half an hour's time, we shall see what's gonna happen with this king tide. So, let's just hang in and wait and see. Well, there's been a revised level now to 4.5, which means it's not going to be too radical. Now, it's come up since I was here, about a foot or so. Um, let's just check it out around right here. All right, well, a bit of luck. This could be it. Well, that is creeping up a uh, little bit, but the expected uh, increase doesn't look though like it's going to occur. It's four o'clock, four a.m. now. Um, it doesn't seem to be anything too radical that's going on up here. Oh, let's just hang in and see what happens over the next half, huh?